I am Srini Madala from Niti 13th batch 1983-85. to I am the founder and chairman of Soft Soul group of companies and I also run a startup company called Aquila Systems that deals with insurance fraud. I have a foundation, Madala Charitable Trust in uh, Telangana, it's about 100 miles from Hyderabad where we impact about half a million population in rural Telangana. I am also a limited partner in several venture capital firms and also invested in startups and I currently live in Monteserino um, which is a small town near Silicon Valley in California. So I, after, I graduated from NITI in uh, 1985 and then I briefly worked for Premier Automobiles and also Tata Unisys in Mumbai. Uh, both of these jobs we just called them and we got them within a day and then um, within three months of my training in Tata Unisys in Mumbai I went to Atlanta Georgia to work for Unisys Corporation. Uh, I worked with Unisys for about uh, a year and then another small company in Atlanta for three more years uh, then um, I ventured to start my own business. And the first attempt did not go well because I started during the recession and uh, so I waited for a year and, and started uh, Soft Soul uh, at that time and it, it worked very well. So fortunately my company grew very well and uh, uh, I made it to the Inc. 500 uh, fastest growing privately held companies a couple of times and then subsequently I also did an IPO in India in 2001. Uh, so that was very wonderful, a joyous, wonderful ride and it worked out very well for me. Uh, it also fulfilled my long-term dream of being financially independent. I always believe that um, it is uh, much more difficult to donate one million dollars than to actually make one million dollars. So um, I am very fortunate and privileged to be able to experience both of these uh, at a early age in my life and that's why I I think you know, Niti was uh, very helpful in helping me accomplish these things. Uh, to summarize, I think Niti transforms bright engineers into fine professionals, entrepreneurs and nice human beings. The basic purpose of any good academic institution is to provide faculty, resources and an environment conducive for learning. Niti prepares you well and they help you transition into workforce smoothly by helping you with imparting knowledge, technical skills, as well as soft skills. In other words, no matter which avenue you pursue, uh, a professional career, academics, or civil services, um, entrepreneurship, or something else, uh, what you get from NITI is a systems approach and a multidisciplinary approach to solving problems. Post-COVID, uh, I think what you need to do is you need to be able to learn and adapt to thrive in a dynamic and unstructured environment. You should be able to connect, communicate, bond and conduct business remotely and without any physical meetings. Uh, you should be proactive. Uh, you need to be set your own goals, have your own plans and be able to execute them. Many of these things are not uh, taught in colleges, so you better learn those things. Uh, while you are in college, so when you uh, go look for a job or pursue whatever vocation that uh, that you that you like to do, um, you should be able to hit the ground running. So these skills include communication skills, project management, working in a team, conflict resolution, personal finance, negotiations, um, time management, uh, these kind of skills. Um, in addition to that. I think if I were a NITI student right now, I will focus on learning AI, uh, IoT and machine learning and analytics and most importantly, more than learning about these technical skills, ability to apply these to solve real world problems. I think that's what I will be focusing on. If you ask me what kind of skill sets that I acquired at NITI helped me in my career, I probably will answer this way. I think the wisdom, courage, strength and perseverance, these are certain attributes that you really need to be successful. Um, I believe NITI helped me identify and understand the importance of these things. That's one thing. Uh, the second, prior to NITI, I used to label myself an engineer and that has limited my thinking. 
But once I was at NITI, uh, I learned that a person is much more than the coursework that you do and the grades that you get. I learned that each individual is different. Each has their own strengths, likes, and interests. And it's, that, it's a, exactly at that time I also had opportunity to discover myself. Uh, I found out that I was more motivated by financial independence uh, than a decent corporate position or uh, uh, looking for academic uh, accomplishments or, or you know things like that. In other words, NITI helped me discover myself, my wants, my needs, my passion, and uh, without which I, I don't think I would have been here today. So NITI helped me recognize, um, you know, importance of um, what makes you tick. The industry has changed a lot. The days when the industry picked fresh graduates and provided years of training and orientation, lifelong employment, are no longer the norms now. The industry expects new hires to hit the ground running. Staying ahead of technology curve can be extremely helpful. AI, IoT, analytics, and most importantly, applying them to solve real-world problems in any industry domain is very important right now. You should also be able to network, make contacts, form relationships, communicate and promote yourself. Um, these are some of the soft skills that you need to have. Fortunately, the best and most valued skills are, are very young. In other words, the most marketable skills and most valuable skills themselves are very young. So if you didn't have 10 years experience, you don't miss anything because all the good things were only came in just last few years. So which means very often the best equipped fresh graduates command much more salaries and much more remuneration or opportunities compared to many years ago. Well, if you ask me what, what did I enjoy most when I was at NITI, I think I enjoyed watching films in the auditorium, uh, the parties when the faculty, their families and students were invited to socialize over very lavish dinners. The faculty were very friendly, very affable. So, so bright and ambitious student body uh, is an important thing and they were very bright people, um, handpicked uh, throughout the country from 100 students all over the country, both batches combined. And then the faculty was well known within and outside the industry and they were very affable. And then uh, my other passion was uh, jogging. Uh, so whenever I got stressed out for some reason, I used to run from uh, NITI to IIT on the road that uh, between the pipelines. And uh, that really became a habit for me, which I can continue to do even now. So uh, it brings me sanity, uh, makes me uh, stay focused and stay healthy. So whatever you do, uh, I'm sure you will have your own ways of enjoying. There's no one way to do it, but uh, I hope you are, you're going to enjoy NITI as much as I did or my friends did.